Hi there. This is nothing but nails. And I'm coming to you with a video. And um, I'm going to be doing a few things in this video. I'm going to show you how I remove my polish. And also at the end I have a haul. So I'll be doing a few things in this video. Okay. It's a little bit difficult for me. Okay. And I know that this is not probably the proper way to do it. But I'm sorry, this is my way. It's comfortable for me. And it's what works for me. And I'm trying to do it on camera. So it may be a little bit more difficult for me. Because I usually come closer to myself when I am removing my polish. I'm trying to stay in frame. And see, it's hard for me to see what I'm doing while I'm on camera. So this could also do it. As long as I stay over the white block, I'll be okay. Okay, see, I gotta remember to stay on there. Block. So that I can stay in frame. It's kind of hard for me to do this. Because I'm not actually, I'm trying to look at my nail also, I'm trying to look at the camera and see how, okay, pretty good, okay. Some of this I'm going to have to do off camera because it's take it's going to take me forever. But I did kind of want to show you. I'll do one on since this is my right hand. I'll do this one on my right hand. This is my pinky of my right hand. And I just want to show you somewhat how I remove my polish. And this is a ceramic bit that I have ordered from Tadot USA. But I think that you kind of get the idea of how I remove my polish because I cannot do this all on camera because it's going to take me forever to do this. So I'll be back. Um, I'm going to try to do one on my uh, left hand, just some. I'm not going to do the whole nail because, like I said, it's just taking me too long. I'll see if I can do it on my left hand on camera, but it's just taking me ridiculously long because I'm trying to, you know, stay in frame and everything. All right, I'll be back. Okay, let's try to see if I can do this and keep it in frame. I'm only going to do part of one just to give you kind of an idea on how I remove my polish. You know which nail will be the easiest. Maybe my thumbnail. My focal point. I'll keep it on here and hopefully I can keep it in frame. It's hard for me to do this. Like I said, I know that this isn't the proper technique for removing polish, but this is just the way that I'm comfortable with removing mine, and it's what works for me really quickly. So, this is what I do. 
and really I tell you what I'm not so much focused on removing the polish as much as I am trying to stay in frame for you guys to see this and what little pieces I have left as you notice um, before I go on I have changed my bit to, a to another bit But I always make my disclaimer, I am not a professional, so And what little pieces I have left on my thumb, I will remove them with a hand file. And I am using my foot pedal. So that's basically how I remove my polish from my nail. I'm trying to do this while I'm watching it through the camera. This is a hot, excuse me, a holographic polish. <laughs> and it's a little bit easier to take off. The only um, part I'm taking off basically is the top coat, the gel top coat. That's taken kind of so long because if it was just a holographic polish, but it's just the gel use. polish that's taken so long for me to Get off of my nail. But I just wanted to do a little bit of this for you guys on film. And so I'll be back with the naked. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, my nails are all clean. Well, I mean, I haven't really done my manicure around them or anything and I will do a feel and everything um, right now I've got to have a procedure done this week so I will not be polishing my nails right now until probably the weekend hopefully maybe around Saturday or anything but these are the naked nails and all that. Right now, I'm tired. Today is Sunday. I'm tired. And I did remove my polish because for the procedure I have to have, they require me not to have nail polish. They didn't say anything about nails. So, we'll see how that goes because I'm not going to get rid of my nails. And also, I have a small haul that I would like to do. All right, that is that for now. And so, we will see you later. Okay, I'm back. I decided that I was going to go ahead and finish this video with my nails the way they are. They're still naked. No, I haven't done any more work on them, and I probably will not. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this haul. I wanted to show you something that I got in from Amazon and what these are let me see that's not the one I got it's three of them that comes in the order and there's a hundred in each so there's three hundred here but I love this and I really want to show you this these are clear nail trainer um, tips they go on your nail trainer hand as you can see they got the little clip right there that goes on the nail trainer and I mean the they're awesome I think um, the price I paid for these were $21 
and they fit on the nail train. I'm going to show you that. But you so get three. Clear. And they do fit the, any nail trainer hand. And I'm going to go and show you that right now. Okay, here we go. I'm over here where my nail trainer hand is. And I'm going to try to show you because I'm having to hold on to this camera. But here's the tip. And I want to show you that it like I say I'm trying to do this and stay keep everything in frame but it does click right into the nail trainer hand and I'm going to try to do one more for you it's going to be this one but yeah, it clicks right into, I'm sorry that I'm doing so much moving around. It clicks right into the nail trainer hand. And these are the tips from Beauty Club. Okay, and I'm back over here. And as you notice in these videos, I keep changing my background because I try to find the best background that shows everything, makes everything look clearer for the camera but these are they come like I said there's a hundred in each pack and there's three packs in to an order and I think they are very cool I like these and I know a lot of people had problems with the um, other ones let me see okay I just want to show you these I have these in a little baggie and I'll give you up close these are the ones that you can order pretty much anywhere these are the ones that usually come with the nail trainer hand are these right here and they tend to be a little bit darker but here are these this is the lighter one this is the clear one this is really the darker one and this is another one of the little lighter ones but there they are those are the ones that I have of each one and like I say these right here this one right here is the one that usually comes with the nail train of the darker ones um, I had to special order these. I'm sorry. It's been years ago when I ordered these. I have no idea where I got them from. Um, I really don't remember. I am so sorry about that. But they are more expensive. I think they're, I mean, they're just about the price of the nail trainer hand itself. Um, well, I got mine for about, I got my nail trainer hand for $30 on auction on eBay. And these right here I had to order from a company and these were like about $29 or something like that for these because they were lighter and I wanted to try these out so these are the ones that I have I think the company's name is Beautycom and like I said they come I don't know I just saw the ones that had the three hundred for twenty one dollars I'm not sure whether you can buy a pack of these individually or not maybe you can check around on Amazon this is what I saw so this and I figured that twenty one dollars wasn't that bad before for I these go right for good I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers thank you to all of you who have been subscribed to my channel since the beginning I really 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 do appreciate you guys um, for watching my videos and I will say this any ridiculousness will be blocked so you know leave a comment at your own risk because all I do is just block you I don't even pay it any attention I, bar I barely read them because in the beginning you can tell whether someone's saying something stupid or not and so therefore um, ignorance will be blocked I'm going to try I've been really thinking about I'm not good with this I'm not even good with editing 
a video. I just know the basics of editing my videos. I can't do all that fancy stuff that other people do. Um, as you know, I use Kind Master. Um, I really do wish I was, um, you know, more savvy with, uh, you know, the um, recording equipment. But I'm not. I'm using my cell phone, as you know. But I don't know how to do all that fancy stuff because I'm afraid I'll mess up my video or whatever. But I want to try um, to do a giveaway sometime in the future. I'm going to try to get some nice things together um, between now and when I hopefully I can get a thousand subscribers. Um, by the time I get a thousand subscribers, I'm going to try to do a giveaway. Um, I'm going to need you guys help because I have no idea how to do this. Like I say, I just do the basics of stuff. I don't, you know, I'm not in fancy with anything. Not even my artwork on my nails. I'm just not that person. But um, I have no idea how to do that. But we've got a ways to go. I'm not up to 500 yet. So I want to do a 1,000 um, subscriber giveaway. And by then, I should have some very nice things to give away to people. I don't, I don't want to give away anything to anyone that I wouldn't want to get myself. So um, I'm not going to give away any junk. So um, by the time I get a thousand subscribers, I um, hope I'll have. Hopefully, I'll have some nice things um, to give away to um, a thousand subscriber giveaway. All right, guys. Um, you'll see me in my next video. Okay. Love you all. Bye-bye.